everybody, welcome back to my channel, and I have got a scribbler box. So, we're gonna do that thing. Not opened this yet, I literally just broke the seal on this last night. So I have no idea what th this is. I don't even know what month this is. It might be December, probably is December. Ooh, oh, yes! Okay, first, first thing is popcorn, and it's caramel, po it's caramel corn. Caramel corn, however you want to say that. This is one of my favorite treats in the world. I'm so excited for you. This is ridiculous. I really hope it's good. I really do. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Because it's 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 sugar and starch. Like, why wouldn't it be? But still. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in elementary school again. Um, we have the metallic Pentel gold and silver marker. Like, not markers, but they're like uh, gel pens. Oh. I, I, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm in, I'm in like fourth grade again and I'm begging my mom to buy me gel pens. So, yeah, it was December 2019. This is the setting number two box. What is it you want to say? What is it you want people to feel? That's what it says. We first explored setting in our 2018 subscription box featuring Susan Crandall's mesmerizing and emotionally challenging novel, The Myth of Perpetual Summer. The passport that month featured two dynamic writing exercises. In any case, it's a good starting point for the lessons, some lessons of setting and tone. Okay, so there's a couple of exercises in here. And apparently we're bringing setting to life with Olivia Hawker. Okay, so. Yes, this is our, this is that. This is the creative writing journal. Become the writer you want to be. Oh, it, it's a exercise book, which is really actually quite cute. Like there's, there's reading stuff and all the pages are beautiful and printed and colorful and pictures again, like, oh. I'm gonna see if I can give this away to somebody because I don't know. I, I, I haven't like looked at the writing exercises yet, truly, but I don't know if I need this. I think that this is definitely for someone else. And it's not it's not a terrible tool. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I, I don't feel like this was made for me. So I need to find if I can give this away to somebody. All right, uh, Scribbler, this month we've included an exclusive Q&A with the best-selling author, Olivia Hawker. This is the first time we've done a Q&A with one of our featured authors, and we hope you find it as enriching to our own or to your own writing experience as we did with ours. Okay, let's, let's, keep, let's keep going. All right, you are invited to an exclusive chat with senior editor, Chris Werner. Chris Warner edits historical and contemporary, wait, edits historical and contemporary book club fiction, including best-selling authors, uh, Emily Bleaser, Eliza Maxwell, and Carrie Lonsdale, among others. Prior to his current role, Chris served as a senior editor at Saga City Media, where he led online editorial, in addition to writing and editing all sorts, or all things connected to food and arts. When he's not buried in a book, Chris can be found enjoying the outdoors or museum hopping. So it is visit ghostscribbler.com slash lake. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. And we got a button, which is all covered in schmutz. Turn coffee into books. There we go. Again, like I just need like a pin wall or like some sort of something to put all these on. And yeah, cause I, I don't have anything. Button, pen, popcorn, writing, invitation, passport. Okay, I guess that, that's, we are, we are at the end. Sorry, I just wanna make sure. And we have one for the blackbird, one for the crow, which is by Olivia Hawker. And also the book plate, as ever. She a tick book. So, Wyoming, 1876. For as long as they've lived on the frontier, the Bemis and Weber families have relied on each other. With no other settlers for miles, it is a matter of survival. But when Ernest Bemis finds his wife Cora in a compromising situation with their neighbor, he doesn't think of survival. In one impulsive movement, a man is dead, Ernest is off to prison, and the women left behind are divided by rage and remorse. Losing their husband to Cora's indiscretion is another hardship for stoic Nettie May. But 
As a brutal Wyoming winter beats down, Cora and Nettie May have no choice but to come together as one family to share the duties of working the land and raising their children. There's Nettie May's son, Clyde, no longer a boy but not yet a man, who must navigate the road to adulthood without a father to guide him. The, and Cora's daughter, Beula? Beula who is as wild and untamable as their prairie home. Bound by the uncommon threads in their lives and the challenges that lie ahead, Cora and Nettie May began to begin to forge an unexpected sisterhood. But when a love blossoms between Clyde and Beula, bonds are once again tested and these two resilient women must finally decide whether they can learn to trust each other or risk losing everything they hold dear. I don't know why I cannot say Beula. Like, I don't even know if that's the correct pronunciation. Eh, oh, 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 hold on. This is multi POV. I just saw Clyde and Cora, and I don't know what gray against gray means. Yeah, there's Nettie Mae. This is gonna be interesting. Not my style of book, typically. Um, I don't know if this is something that I donate or if this is something I'm gonna actually try out because this is not typically what I ever pick up. It's not that it's historical novel, it's that it's it's drama. It's a lot of drama. And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm into it. However, it is, Jesus, how many pages is it? It is 479 pages. I might pick it up. So that's everything. Um, this was the Scribbler box. So yeah, I guess, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below if you haven't already for content that will be similar but better than this. And yeah, I guess I will see you in the next video. All right, bye. She said it will never go away. I know there is nothing left to say. Can we? Try to hold on just for now Even if we don't know how to show them what we're all about oh.